Today, Ricego and I have an announcement, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video for it, cause I've got to report the news first. This event takes place at the beginning of G2 vs BLG Game 4. I didn't see anybody talking about this, but at this point it's pretty unacceptable. In no other elite level event with this much exposure or viewership does this many bugs happen, only in League. I understand that there are hundreds of items, champions and a ton of runes, all with different interactions, but Riot knew about this bug and disclosed it to players in the inform designation and told them to just avoid it. Now while this is one of the more minimal ones, and I honestly don't think it would have changed the outcome of the game, it still happened and caused a pause, slowing tempo as G2 are about to get a kill. Check out the clip. Shun will get a target, gets killed out by that Winter's Bite, and we have a pause. A very dramatic pause. No, oh, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, London. I will not accept that. We do not know the cause of the pause. And yes, that is a tense freaking moment. So basically the known bug on 13.8, which is the MSI patch, is if an active item is purchased, then you get cookies, but undo the item purchase, the active will be transferred to the cookie at no cost, meaning the support for BLG on essentially had a free refillable where it showed his cookie. It's speculated that this was unintentional, but the bug still happened nonetheless. This initially happened a few minutes before the pause, but I assume the refs caught on a bit later. As I said before, I don't think it would have impacted the outcome of the game. It's more that even though bugs like this exist, Riot continues gameplay normally and just asks the players to not do things. A good example of this was the Samira GA ult bug where players were simply asked to not buy GA because Samira's ult would continue while the GA resurrection animation was happening. Now for the announcement. So for a while I've kind of teased that Ricegu and I have been working on something and as of the time that this video has been published, the site for our store is now live. We didn't want to just use our platform to dropship product with our goal to make something our communities would enjoy that was high quality and long lasting that reflects the passion we have for what we do. We plan on creating more than just stickers so be sure to subscribe for information on releases. Also once your order arrives, be sure to put your sticker somewhere cool and creative and we'll be choosing three random people to give away an RP card to, so make sure you tag us on Twitter. As I said before, we plan on doing more designs and champions in the future, so let us know what you want in the comments below and any feedback is welcomed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!